Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and this YouTube channel is all about the preparation for the GMAT, the SAT exam and the GRE exam. So if you are a hardworking student who is looking for a bright future and hoping to get a seat in some of the premier colleges of the world like the Oxford University, the Harvard University and the Cambridge University, then these are the kind of questions that you should be really comfortable with. So the video for today will mainly focus on the SAT preparation. So this is the uh, kind of question that you might be asked in your SAT exam. So here we have if x is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 and the value of y is 7 minus 4 root of 3, then you have to calculate the value of x raised to the power minus 2 plus y raised to the power of minus 2. Now the thing is that if we directly substitute the values of x and y in this part, then it would be a really daunting task to kind of arrive at the final answer. Uh, so for that, before uh, solving this, let's write down this function as we have x raised to the power minus 2 plus y raised to the power of minus 2. So going by the rules of exponents and powers, this can be written as x square raised to the power minus 1 plus y square raised to the power of minus 1. So as you can see, we now have a situation where the uh, inverse power can help us convert this fraction into its fraction form. So this can be written as 1 divided by x square plus 1 divided by y square. So let's take the LCM. So this would be x square plus y square divided by x square y square. So as you can see till now I have not substituted the value and I'll only substitute the values of x and y only when I am convinced that the uh, solution will not create any kind of uh, fussle between them. So let's start with like this. So here we have the identity of a square plus b square which is a plus b whole square minus of 2ab. So this is a reverse identity that I have written of a square plus b square. So technically speaking we have the identity of a plus b whole square and it's 2ab on this side. But since I want the value of x square plus y square, so let's substitute the values of a as x and b as y. So this would be x plus y whole square minus of 2xy. So that means the value of x square plus y square divided by xy whole square that I'm looking for can be now written as x plus y whole square minus of 2xy divided by xy whole square. So now is the precise moment when we kind of substitute the values. So the value of x is 7 plus 4 square root of 3 plus 7 minus 4 root of 3 whole square minus 2 times x multiplied by y. So that is 7 plus 4 square root 3 multiplied by 7 minus 4 square root of 3. So let's solve it. Okay, we also have a denominator. So in this denominator, we have x y whole square, which is 7 plus 4 root 3 multiplied by 7 minus of 4 root 3. And to this, we raise the denominator to the power of 2. So let's solve this. So 4 root 3 and 4 root 3 will get cancelled out. So this is 7 plus 7, that is 14. So here we will have 14 square minus of 2. This is a plus b multiplied by a minus b, which is a square minus of b square. So I'll write this as like this. And in the denominator, we now have a plus b multiplied by a minus b, which is a square minus of b square. And then we raise another square that is this one just right here. So now 14 square has the value of 196 minus 2 times multiplied by 7 7 is 49 minus this is 48 this is then divided by 49 minus 48 whole square so this is equal to 196 minus 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 1 square so the final answer to this particular problem my friend is 194 this is the final answer that we were looking for I hope that this video was informative enough and for more such videos on GMAT, SAT and the GRD preparation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will meet soon. Thank you so much for watching.